What is up everybody, it's Lead here and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to sync montages. All right, so <clears throat> what I've done here is I went in Premiere Pro, I got my clips ready and I removed the audio from the clips because I don't really need them. Uh, and also I got my music ready. All right, that's the music right there. And you're gonna to wanna to want a shotgun sound effect and an assault rifle sound effect and I got an extra sound effect that um, I may use interchangeably that sound effect right there yeah and once you have your sound effects you're pretty much ready to go so before we start actually syncing the clips to the audio we have to set markers and in order to set a marker just click on the audio and press M and then you have a marker there now we're gonna want to set a marker on every beat and you can also look on the waveform here, like every time it goes up a lot like that, like every time there's a big bump, usually that's where the beats are. So right here, right here, you can see it goes up, right here. All right, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep it short and just sync this thing right here. I'm not gonna go past uh, that point. All right, so now that we've done that, we can select our clips and our music and right click and replace it with an After Effects composition. Now this is where all the magic happens, all right. Now syncing usually takes, um, takes some time so don't expect, don't rush it, because if you rush it, it's, you're not going to get uh, really good results. You really want to take your time with this. Now, I'm going to rush it a little bit just for the sake of the tutorial, though. All right. So you're going to want to remember, Control-Alt-T is how you set up time remapping on a clip. So if I select this clip and I press Control-Alt-T, that brings up the time remapping. All right. And time remapping is basically how we align uh, how we sync the video with the audio. So you can see if I go to a point, all right, let's go right here where I shoot the, uh, where I shoot the guy. If I set a keyframe for time remapping and then I drag it back, that moment where I shoot the guy is going to be where the keyframe is. So it's going to be right here instead of where it was before, which was right here. All right. So ideally what we're going to do is set a keyframe for every time we shoot. So here, 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 here. We might use up all the music on just this one clip here. All right. So after you've done that, you're going to align each shot with the markers that you set here. Uh, let me actually move all of these clips out of the way. And I'm going to align the first keyframe with the beat as well. So I'm just going to drag this clip over here until it's aligned with the marker. And now I'm going to align the rest of the markers. So drag this here. Uh, I'm going to select all the markers. And actually, before I do that, we have to make sure to set an end keyframe. So right here is where I want the clip to end. And I'm just going to set a keyframe there. So, all right. I'm going to select these right here. And I'm going to drag it over here, drag this one over here, and align it with the marker. If you hold shift while you're dragging it, uh, it aligns it better. So I'm going to expand the clip because I'm running out of room. And I'm going to drag this one here. So yeah, holding shift kind of just snaps it in place. Drag that one there, this one there, this one there. All right, so now we're aligned 
uh, we have it synced, but it doesn't really have that much flow. You can kind of hear it's kind of synced with the beat. I'm going to zoom out here. All right, so you can see that the gunshots are in sync with. So what we're going to do to add more flow to it and make it more, um, I don't know, it just feels kind of raw right now. So we're going to go, uh, well, actually, first select all your keyframes and press F9 to go into the, uh, change these to Bezier keyframes, which basically mean uh, ease in and ease out which smooths it out a little bit and we're going to go to the graph editor right here and make sure you have it in value graph by clicking here and clicking on value graph and once you go here you're going to see a bunch of curves now that represents the time now these curves kind of take a little bit to grasp your head around but once you use it a lot you're going to kind of understand it or at least that's what happened for me but the way I think about it is the more steep the curve is, the faster it goes and the more flat it is, the slower it goes. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> if I make this, it goes like this, then it's going to go really fast at the beginning and then at the slow, I mean, not at the slow, uh, towards the end or after the beginning, it's going to basically be frozen. You can see the images, the frame is frozen right there because I made it completely flat. So what we're going to want to do is make it go fast and then slow and then fast towards the end. So it's going to look like this. All right. And we're going to do that for all of them just by dragging the keyframes up for fast and down for fast too, because it's going steep here and steep here. <clears throat> so just do that for all of the keyframes that you have. And again, if you have a lot of keyframes, it's going to take a long time. I mean, that's pretty intuitive, though. All right. So you're going to maybe want to tweak these. Uh, for the tutorial, we might not because, you know, we don't need anything perfect. Uh, we're also going to come over here. Uh, turn on frame blending uh, this one actually not frame blending I think this is called optical flow which basically uh, gives it the slow motion effect because if you didn't turn that on it would just be very choppy and when we turn it on you can see it kind of uh, blends the frames together all right and now that we've done that, I'm just going to make sure to save the project. All right, now we're going to go back into Premiere Pro. And this might take a second to load. I'm going to change it to one fourth quality so that it can render faster. <clears throat> and give it a second. Do, 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 do. Hey guys, uh, by the way, while we're waiting for After Effects to load, just let me know what kind of videos you want me to make. Any uh, tutorials you're interested in or anything like that. And you can see right there how it's synced up. And now is where we use our... Uh, sound effects so I'm gonna use my assault rifle sound effect um, I'm gonna set an in and out point by pressing I and O and then just dragging it on to my uh, timeline and for every single marker I'm gonna uh, place the gun sound effect All right just like that. And make sure the uh, gun sound effect is aligned with the marker. 
or ideally it should be aligned. Uh, it should be two frames after the marker because uh, we process audio faster than we process visual. So if we put it two frames in front of the marker, uh, then like to our brains, they will be aligned. But it doesn't really matter too much here because we're just, I'm just trying to show you the uh, basic topic. Alright, so that looks pretty good to me. And I'm just going to add the sound effect for when he gets killed. And I'm going to click on it, press G, and then type in negative 5 to turn it down 5 uh, decibels. Alright, maybe turn it up a little bit. Alright, I mean, that's pretty freaking epic. Now we're just going to add shake to it, and then it's going to be pretty much done. Um, now I make my shake manually. Uh, some people don't. But it's pretty simple. I think I, I did make a shake tutorial. So if you guys want to know how to make shake, then uh, you can just watch my tutorial. So I'm going to do that really quick. Uh, also, if it's being slow for you, you're going to want to turn the quality down from full to a quarter. Just so that it can render a bit faster because sometimes it is slow. All right, so now we have our shake and we have to apply motion tile so that the edges go away and add motion blur. And I'm actually, all right, we're gonna turn it back to full so that we can see clearly. And I'm actually gonna add a rotational shake too. Just because I've never tried that, really. Alright. Now, just wait for it to load. Guys, don't be afraid to comment any questions that you may have regarding this tutorial or anything. Mm, 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 mm. Go, go, Power Rangers. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it's really a pain. Alright, so I'm just going to copy these keyframes and every marker I'm going to paste them. might actually take away the rotational shake, I don't know, depending on how the final result looks. Yeah, I'm going to take away the rotational shake, just leave the positional shake. And for the final touches, we can uh, keyframe the color for the kill. So how I usually do it is I add curves, a curves effect. And I go to the red, or uh, like there's different color options here. I go to red, uh, I set a keyframe before the effect. Then when it goes like where I want the effect to happen, I just turn it up and then go forward a few frames and then turn it back to zero. And we can make this last a little bit longer too. All right, so I didn't end up using the other clips. Uh, no biggie. That actually worked out pretty well for the tutorial. I'm just gonna cut this off. So, 
so that we can preview this. Hey, I think that's pretty good. Like, you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think. I think I could turn the gun sound, or maybe I could turn the music down just a bit. Alright. Yeah, so that's basically how you sync videos. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you later.